have you either or both of you been watching The Last Dance on Netflix? And if so, how have you connected to this within your world of coaching? It, number one of either, I think you've watched it, Pete, because you referenced it, didn't you? I've watched it. Shani, you go first if you want, mate. Um, I've watched, you watched it? It's on my list. I'm starting it this week. Tommy, my youngest son, is watching it now. And I get a little bit of a, a, a summary of it when he, when he comes down in the morning for breakfast. And I, I ask one question about Michael Jordan. And he basically said he, he's absolutely, he knows what he wants to do and, mm. and how he wants to get there. So I'm looking forward to I've heard a lot about it. I'm looking forward to it. Well, we'll come up at the end of the end of the call. Everybody stay tuned. We'll, we'll come, come to your box set recommendations, but we can come on to that later. So, so Pete, yeah, so, I mean, I, I've seen some of it. There's a low, everyone's talking about it, it seems, in sporting fields. How, how has it, picking up on Chris's question, how have you connected with it? And, and I guess... Well, I've, I've not pushed it all the way through. I'm about six or seven episodes in. Um, I think it's fantastic. Uh, for a coach, anyway, it's fantastic because it's interesting because it's 27 years ago. You know, what it happened. And I look at the way those basketballers are behaving and actually they're very similar to our lads now, actually, in England, which is, which is it shows how cultures and things move across. But um, there's so much to take. I think so many questions for a coach can ask himself, you know, what do you take from it? This desire of Jordan to win, without a shadow of a doubt. But the evolution of that team was born through like often, why does it take a long time sometimes or, or several years to develop a team to where you want to be, depending where those people are. It's sort of, you watch it play out live. You sort of watch them um, get beaten up without giving too much away, getting beaten up by the, the Detroit Pistons. And then really they've got they need more physicality. So they go and train hard and it's led by Jordan to give an off season away to go and train. And there's lots and lots of things like that in, within it. I think that you can start to pick out um, that makes it, it comes across like it's real sport. You can see the mistakes, the frustration of Jordan, uh, having been the lead, the, the most valuable, the MVP in the NBA for probably four or five years, but still hadn't won, um, won the trophy and he still felt incomplete. So, for a sportsman to realize, you know, if you're speaking to any sportsman to say, well, you know, completion often as a sportsman, if you're in a team sport, is when, the, when we win, not just you win. And that's one of the greatest sportsmen who's ever lived. And it's extraordinary, his, um, his athleticism, his, uh, his frankness, I think, and the way he puts things across, even now when you're listening to him speak. And, the, and what sport leaves you with? It leaves you with memories and pains and joys that, that live with you forever. And that's what I love about sport. You know, somebody shows me a replay of the 2020 final, semi-final last year, it'll still knock my stomach. This part of what sport does. Like the same token, when we win it in 17, I'll be beaming all over my face. Uh, but it's, it, you know, I've loved watching it. I'm sort of trying not to use it up too quick because it's a really nice thing to look forward to going and watch an episode, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah. But I know a lot of our players have watched it and taken a lot from it. So I'm looking forward to discussing it with them, actually, over the next bit at, at times, what they take from it, because they are... They are you know, lessons for sportsmen are what you really look at. Lessons for us as coaches, but things that are transferable for a sportsman to see, actually, because one thing is absolutely for sure, however talented he was or that team were, they didn't get there without hard work. Yeah. And, and I, I think, think as well, the bit I've observed is, I mean, talk about a disparate range of characters. You know, you were yeah. sort of talking about the technically perfect. I mean, you've got Dennis Rodman in the mix. Yeah. And I'd love to know who your Dennis Rodman is, but maybe that's for another conversation. <laughs> but... <laughs>